Usually I have a script with bullet points on things I want to make out, but this chapter was so wild. We are going off the script. Did you see that stare down between Yoshida and Femi? Femi's over here looking like, huh, it looks like that plan with the Eternity Devil didn't work after all. And Yoshida's like, hey, how you doing, baby girl? How you doing? I see you. And Femi's like, who is this man? This man looks like trouble. And I want to say right now, I need to see this matchup between Yoshida and Femi as if Yoshida wasn't already acting kind of sussy baka before. This man's organization knows something. I don't think this is Devil Hunter HQ. Or if it is, it's maybe like a separate division that's secret within Devil Hunter HQ. Maybe think of like One Piece and then there's Sword. What I'm trying to get at is Yoshida is looking kind of sus. I love that stare down. He looked at Fami as if he already knew who she was. He knows about the Four Horsemen. Him making that comment last week or two chapters ago with Denji in regards to eat the death devil or something like that. He knows what's up. He knows the lore, but does he know it through Kishibe or does he know it through some other unconventional method? That is yet to be determined. Can Yoshida take on Fami? I don't know. And what was also great about this chapter is that I thought it was going to slowly build up into an eternity devil showdown like we got with part one with how that slowly crept up with the action. No, we got all the action in this chapter plus more we'll get into the Denji stuff momentarily but yo Asa's plan worked he had a million yen so now she owns the aquarium it turned out to be a weapon and can we talk about how sick this eternity devil's design look I mean yes he has that grimer muck grotesque design similarly to part one mind you I really dig the design of this eternity devil much like I dig the ferocious look with the bat devil that was reincarnated in the beginning of part two now that Asa played her part we see that she turned into the war devil and the war devil although that spear weapon didn't look that intimidating we saw what the war devil did all it took was one throw and it took out the eternity devil just like that very impressive stuff from yoru is things picking up power wise we maybe see how things are becoming more in sync between asa and yoru's character but the double spread panel looked fantastic nevertheless honestly it looked like some flawless victory mortal Kombat type of stuff it looked so beautiful we got to talk about denji denji as a matter of fact did touch that penguin he held on to that penguin and of course because we have to get some fujimoto fashion my heart did break a little bit <laughs> Well, we see Denji looking so upset when the owner of the aquarium had to take the penguin away. But I love how the owner of the aquarium just held on to the arms of the penguin. Like the penguin's like, bye, Denji. I'll see you later. And Denji genuinely looking so upset he couldn't keep the penguin. <laughs> but look, he at least touched the penguin. That's all that mattered. He got to pet it. But when he talks to Asa, he's like, look, I wouldn't rank this day a 10 out of 10. But I had a lot of fun. I got to touch the penguin. And that's the only thing that mattered. You said you would do anything for me right but what he did do which was so genuinely wholesome and heartfelt was that he told asa can we get a second date yes or no and she said yes i agree and this is the interesting part because now that yoru is also talking to asa because they shared the same brain we see her blush she's genuinely blushing she has affection for your boy denji and all it took was for them to have a heartfelt moment connection and rapport from the previous chapter interestingly enough yoru says oh because we share the same brain together i'm also developing feelings for the man as well which now leads into the big wtf moment where yoru is still in possession of asa's body she grabs denji's head and says denji's spinal cord is this going to work yes or no and i guess before we get to that answer the only thing i'm genuinely curious about is i thought just like yoku the war devil was gonna let asa and yoku build up their relationship so you know the more heartfelt and more the incident becomes when she she could have made Yoku into a weapon. We don't get that context here. It's like, oh, I have some genuine feelings. Let's see if Denji will turn into a sword. And if this latest chapter confirmed with Asa having some type of ownership or affection with the aquarium and that turning into a spear, should this theoretically work? Yes or no? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because this was the promotional stuff I mentioned previously where we see this female character who we now know as Asa holding onto a chainsaw and could it have been Denji at the time? Yes or no? I think this is going to work. Does that mean Denji is fully dead? I don't necessarily think so. So we'll have to wait and see. And how can I forget? Haruda looked at Asa and Yoru before defeating the Eternity Devil. 
and he looked shocked. He said, could it be? Could it be what? I wish we had more context with that. Could it be that uh, Haruka knows that Asa is being manipulated by the war devil because maybe he noticed the scars on her face? Does he know that Asa is being controlled in the way that he's being controlled by Fami? Curious to know what you guys have to say in the comments down below. The Chainsaw Man momentum is still going strong despite the anime concluding and guess what? You already got the War Devil arc and we got the Justice Devil arc video for all the anime onlys that are now catching up with the sequence of the manga and I made a great video which you can check out right over here.